Good afternoon. I want to start by reminding everyone that there will not be a live show tonight. I'll be covering the uh, the local town board meeting as I do every other Monday night now. So I just wanted to make that reminder. Um, so let's talk about the latest with Iran and Israel. It, um, as I said last night during the live show, it's kind of been a, a game on, game off kind of a thing. And uh, it was really hard to get a feel for where it was last night. And last night, from all the sources that I have, they ain't, they ain't any inside sources. I ain't got any, and neither do any of the other YouTubers. I um, it it just it seemed like things were at least off for the moment. Apparently, that is not the case. So, uh. Keep your eyes open. Again, I won't be live tonight uh, unless something stupid crazy happens. And if if something stupid crazy happens on the international scene, um, that could cause me to drop the local scene, so to speak. But uh, aside from some full-scale attack or all-out war, uh, I won't be doing a show tonight. I'll be covering the local town board meeting. So anyway... Let's get on over to the article that I'm referring to. Of course, I'll leave the link as always in the description in the first comment. Titled, Israeli Air Force Ordered to Attack Iran from F-35I Adir Nest and Nevatam Base. I'm sure I said those wrong. Uh, which targets can be hit, the good, and the bad scenario. So, uh, by the way, uh, Iran has came out, and it could be in this article. I haven't read all this article, but um, Iran has come out and said that any acts against them is going to be responded to tenfold. So I wanted to put that out there. This, har this article here says, Israel's political and security elite have decided to react in a clear and decisive manner to the Iranian attack, the Israeli media reported, noting that the Air Force will bear the brunt of the attack against targets inside Iran. Now, this next, next sentence is a biggie. It is noted that Netanyahu has been refusing to talk to foreign officials for 48 hours who are trying to convince him not to retaliate. Now, I know of two countries that are actively trying to talk sense into him, and that is the United States and Russia. Both the United States and Russia has been trying to get them to abstain from an attack and just call the current situation a win. As I said last night on the live show, you know, uh, Netanyahu and his party want to be victorious in this upcoming election or what have you. And he's received a lot of criticism from all over for his his lack of of dealing with things well the truth of the matter is there is no lack of him dealing with things in fact he's been a little over heavy-handed in a lot of stuff and that that i think it's a lot where the u.s government and the russian government are coming from when they're trying to talk sense into him hey you know you might want to let this go because right now you know, there's already a ton of people that want to go after him for human rights violations and violating, uh, you know, uh, the Geneva Convention rules of war and you name it. So there are reasons why people are taking the approach they are with this because Netanyahu's hands are far from clean. So anyway, continuing on, it says IDF Chief of Staff Herzi Halebi with an uh, F-35I Adir in the background gave a press conference from Nevatim Air Base in southern Israel along with Israeli Air Force technicians and pilots. Israel's IDF noted that the launch of so many ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and drones against the territory of the state of Israel will be met with a response. It is noted that the Nevatim Air Base is the nest of three F-35I Adir squadrons the 116th Southern Lions, and the 117th First Jet Squadron, and the 140th Golden Eagle. 
Israel's Khan Media reported that the Iranian attack has crossed a red line that Israel is preparing to respond, but the response will be limited in a way that it will allow Iran to limit it and not be dragged into an all-out war. In practice, this means that Israel will be gambling. If it does strike with F-35 or deer targets deep inside Iran, even symbolic or military ones of minor importance, then the onus is on Tehran to strike back. Miscalculation lurks. Israel's Channel 12 reported that the Israeli Air Force has completed preparations for an imminent attack on Iran. A U.S. official told Al Jazeera that Israel could strike targets deep inside Iran. Uh, what kind of targets are we looking at? It says here Iran's barrage of missiles and drones against Israel was the first act of a tough new strategy, Tehran said, warning Israel that any future attack would trigger an all or an immediate and punitive response. Netanyahu asked the Israeli Defense Forces to provide targeting options. These options include a potential to hit facility in Tehran belonging to the military industrial complex a facility that serves Iran's nuclear program, a cyber attack so that there are no casualties like Iran did, a generalized attack on Fordo Natanz against targets that are the heart of Iran's nuclear program. This is also the worst choice of all. As Israel's Channel 12 reported that several options were being discussed, each of which could result in painful retaliation against Iran. However, there were two parameters that the council took into account. The first had to do with Israel's response not triggering a regional war, as reported by the network, and the second with that any response would not be blocked by the U.S. or backed. It's supposed, pardon me, supposed to be backed, not blocked. But there is always an element of surprise. Meanwhile, in a parallel development, Israel has reportedly decided to delay its expected military offensive in Rafah, Gaza Strip, following Iran's attack. The Israeli armed forces were to begin issuing evacuation orders on Monday, CNN reported, citing two unnamed Israeli sources, but those plans have been shelved for the time being. Wall Street Journal, for its part, Cities, American, and Western officials who expect Israel to respond quickly to Iran's attack, possibly as early as Monday. So that's what I think we're looking at. I do think that we will be looking at an attack at some point today, probably be this evening for us. And um, I, I would expect that. And as far as um, a reply, I don't know. I don't know. This is a sticky situation, and I'm definitely not a fearmonger kind of person, and I'm not going to go down that path. But do make sure you've got your stuff taken care of. You know, that should be any time. You should have should have had it taken care of two months ago, right? We shouldn't even need to mention it. We should be able to just look at the news and say, okay, well, I better make sure that I did this or did that or but, you know, you know the fear-mongering in YouTube. It's insane. Uh, so anyway, just keep up on what's going on. Um, again, as long as things don't go all out crazy, I won't be live tonight. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow night. So, hope you all have a good day. Shalom.